Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Good morning. I'm I'm so happy and so excited because yesterday the measurements in my studio revealed. I mean, it's not even finished yet that we are almost over the entire frequency spectrum plus minus five dB, which is already really, really good. And I just had like a quick Skype call with my studio construction planning guy. He's calculating a little more and giving me like full plans how to build the front wall. There are a couple of options. I'll tell you more about that later. Now it's actually time to head over to the DIY store really quick, get some more material and build today something entirely new for the new studio. Exciting, can't wait. So yeah, today, starting with the table build, the studio desk build, I will actually build two. One of them will be right behind me, just a flat, simple one for synthesizers and some fun gear, more the creative stuff. And in front of me will be another one, angled upwards 15 degrees, so that it doesn't get a bounce from the speakers, and it will host racks and a lot of outboard gear. So. Let's get started. I hope I will get through with all of it today. At the halfway point, exhausted, but there's still a lot more to take care of. So far, everything goes really smooth and I didn't plan that that much. I'm just like building as I go. I have something in my head and yeah, it looks kind of all right. And if I think about me considering buying a studio desk for 3000, so far I've spent 150 on materials and four hours, probably four more hours plus like coloring it, getting it like black, glossy will be probably the most time intensive. But I think all in all, maybe 300 euros for a desk that is individual for my needs and like as perfect as I want it to be. But let's see, let's continue. Okay, almost there, almost there. All of the parts are cut, some of them glued and screwed, which takes the longest time. It's again time for gluing and sanding, which takes like, you know, I built a diffuser once, took half a year to complete, never again. But this one right here should be finished soon. I got here the first two side parts. So underneath of here will be the lax. We got uh, left and right. In the right one, there is like a little gap for the huge structural beam to go in there. It's of course way longer. It's just like the, the piece that was left. On the other side, the same thing. And this two meters long, will support all of the weight of all of the gear. And then in the back, same thing. Again, the beam goes through, everything fits nicely. And then these parts right here will go in between and also lay on top of the structural beam in the back. And in the front, I will probably just use some of these right here. I'm so extremely proud. It's done. I mean, it still needs to be like painted, but I will probably not do it. I will just give it to someone. They can sand it and spray it and sand it again and spray it again and sand it again and spray it again. That's too annoying. I don't want to deal with that. But the construction is done. It's very, very stable. I was worried that it might not be stable enough, but it is. And the principle is very simple. It's like a mastering table, but with four units, usually they have three. And I built like something underneath to put a keyboard. So it's like for outboard gear, mastering, but also music production, because you still have the keyboard. Because those are all of the things I need, the outboard gear, the keyboard, and then the other table will be synthesizers. Soon coming more, my gear addiction is not over. It's just like on pause for a couple of days. Actually some stuff already arrived today, but um, I, I wasn't here, I wasn't buying the material. So I'll pick it up tomorrow morning. And yeah, let's try and lift all of this up onto the feet, screw it in, see if it is stable enough. And then I'll show you like the, the extra special parts about it. It's too, it's 
too heavy for one person. I can lift it up, but I, I can't turn it. Oh yes! Whoa! Strongest producer on the fucking planet. Whoa! I deserve sitting here so much. So much fun. It's always so good when you finish a project. This one right here obviously isn't finished 100%. There are still small things that need to be fixed. For example, this one right here. It's a little short, I need to cut a new one. This was anyways just laying around, so it almost matched, but it's missing a bit. Then we of course got here, a place where cables can run through all the way to here. I will cut in here holes to run more cables in here, and they will then just run out of the bag, either up here or down here, on the back of this leg. And now comes the very special part, you might remember still, that I put like a canal underneath exactly here. Let's move the table a tiny bit. So you can see it right here. Here's like a eight centimeter canal. The cables will go in here. So I will just drill down there into that canal. And this way not a single cable will be visible. They will leave the table at the back, go into the floor and then outside of the studio. On the other side, same thing. Here I even left a little space up here to run cables to the very front. That's the part that is too short. Need to cut this again. And underneath here, as you can see, the entire table is a bit higher. Here will be another plate. And in that will be a keyboard. And I'm not sure if I will be like able to pull it out or like maybe move this up. I'm not sure yet. So yeah, I think I will just listen to some music do another measurement with the RumiQ wizard and see how this desk actually behaves. It's angled, so I hope it doesn't give me any desk reflections because that's something really annoying and hard to get rid of because, I mean, you need a desk to work at. Just happy, finally. I mean, I'm in the studio for over two years and every couple of months I'm saying, I'm building a desk, I'm building a desk, Never built one, now I did it. Within a day, didn't take too much effort. A little bit of planning, of course. All of this right here will be covered up with more um, wood and all of it will be painted black. I'm not sure if matte black or very shiny glossy like a piano black. Maybe some of you have any suggestion. And yeah, the measurement, that's actually the surprising thing. I had a peak at 30, a dip at 50, the dip at 50 is almost gone. The 30 dB thing is still there. That's just way too low. I don't know how to fix that, but the graph looks better. It's probably not because of the desk. It's probably more because due to the desk, I moved the sweet spot a little more back into the room. You see right here, the 50 Hertz is gone. So my only real problem is 30 and this little dip, but this should be easy, an easy fix. More than that, in the coming days, I now just feel a little sad because now this is actually a proper, workable, a little at least, studio, and the B studio is now a little lonely. And I just love that place. I mean, look, it all started in there, my very first studio that you at least know of, very small, a lot of absorption that higher ceiling was treated so this was actually already pretty good and in the past couple of years like the past one and a half to two years i made all of my songs in here also here acoustic treatment everything is there it sounds pretty all right the windows create a little mess but we need the vocal booth and this right here was my very very first desk design the keyboard is so heavy because it has weighted keys. It's like 25 kilos or something. I couldn't make it to pull out, so I had to build this sliding top cover, which works pretty well. I mean, it's good for self-made, but <laughs> as you can see, I never, never painted it. And now, guys, this will be my new workspace. I'm so, so, so proud of myself. All of this was really hard work. And I just love every day, the progress, the grind. And that Vanessa is also here. Hey. It's really nice, you picking me up every day, I like yeah. it. Do you like the desk? Just imagine it being like all black on top 
and everything yeah. filled out with gear. It's wider than I thought. Yeah, I need space. I'm a huge guy. <laughs> Couch over here, and oh, then. Wait a second. Where's the floor stuff? The floor stuff there. You see, that looks epic. Chrome, black, it's good. Anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Tomorrow, more progress, more studio. I don't know, probably no studio construction. Like, I need a day where I don't construct. So, probably music making business stuff, the usual.